guys, I'm at this job here with this um, channel that was leaking. I did a video back a few weeks ago, I guess. Well, it came in and I'm going to be replacing the coil. Get it up off the ground. Alright guys, I got all this brush out of here cleared out. People see how high it is. That green came right across in here like this. So, I'm going to be able to work in here. Just says you guys, for you guys, uh, this is a two ton replacement. The unit inside is a ton and a half. I didn't do this, I just came here to um, basically, you know, get the guy going cooling and found a leak here, so the coil is under warranty, so that's what I'm changing. So mismatch is coming here again. So you know, the pressures might not be ideal when I start this thing back up. We'll see. There's some cardboard here, so I'm not putting all my stuff on the jungle floor here. Crazy. Look at this stuff. Look how it is. <clears throat> so it's no legs. So I'll get it up off the ground. It should be better. Mm, we're all apart here. Yeah? There's a joint here. And the joint here that has to be unsorted. Mm, the new coil is black here. Coated. It's got a coating on it. There's the old, and here's the new. I just want to make sure it's the same size and all that. Actually, this one says 22. This one says 22 and 3 quarters. A little bit different. 22 and a quarter. Yeah, I guess they're not perfect. That's about right. Alright guys, I got the coil out there. Basically just heated it up. Popped it off, cleaned it. That one there. I just have to clean that up with a little bit of sandpaper. That one there. Alright, while I'm in here, I'm going to clean this, this base up while I'm in here. Get all this shit out of here. Clean it up a little bit. It's going to be up on snow legs anyway, but... Clean it up the best we can. Uh, I got a little bit of a riser there I can cut, but I'm going to be putting the snow legs on this thing. Oh, 
four on there. Lift this thing up off the the ground. And I have to make a put a couple of elbows there or something. Cut them rises, them drops down. And I just have to make a couple of cuts there, and I'll just put elbows on there. You can see this has been this has been soft sodded before. But I ain't, they ain't touching that. This wasn't my install. I'm just changing the coil. That's it. So I'm gonna get all these joints prepped and then braze up all at one time. I'm gonna use a 15% silver solder on all this stuff. Alright guys, it just kind of slips right in there. I cleaned them good. I cleaned that off good. The braze off that and I cleaned this good with my wire brush. And I got a couple of elbows over there by the wall. I'm gonna put my nitrogen charge on there and get my wet rag set up ready. And obviously I'll do this one first so I can wet rag it. This is an aluminum to copper connection. I'll put a wet rag around there. And then when I do this one I just have to be careful, no water, no water runs down into this joint before I solder it, before I braise it, I should say. This will be the stuff I'll be using, 15%. Now a little torch there. B tank, MC tank, I'm sorry, with a tip. Let me get my wet rag. Get a little bucket of water over here so I can cool this shit off as soon as I'm done brazing. Yeah, but this just sits right inside these little little saddles. That's all it is. Just fit right down inside there. This sits right on there. Piece of cake. I'm up on the snow legs. I could readjust them after I'm done soldering. Once everything's all sorted, I'll readjust everything, make sure everything's good, and uh, put everything back together. Alright guys, I got some uh, nitrogen going through there. Going in the yellow, and through the blue, then black out the red and it's loose here. And I got a couple of wet rags on the joints here. And I'm going to solder these up. As soon as I'm done with that, I'll hit that with a wet rag. As soon as I'm done brazing this one, I'll hit that with a wet rag. I don't really want to heat this connection up too much. Is under there because it kept wanting to pop off, so this way it'll stay in there. That's good.
All right, guys, let's come to the new foam. Let's go right on top here like this. The other one is kind of different. The other one just had like a foam strip. So I'll start putting it back together here. Eight minutes on a test, and it's still at 168, 168.8, 168.2. The high side dropped just a hair. But I'm forgetting now. This is an old system, but I don't think it's leaking at all. That little bit is nothing. You know, it's not a brand new system either here. So, it's still at 168. Almost nine minutes into the test. I think that's pretty damn good. The unit inside here is um, it's a carrier. A ton and a half air yeah, handler. Straight cool. Oh, I don't think I'm going to call that good. It's been holding at that point four since the test started basically. If there was a leak, that 168 would be dropping. Got to be realistic here, you know. All right, guys, I got that bottom panel on there. Basically, there's only two screws holding the bottom panel on. Then there's um, four screws, two here and two over here to hold this, this whole back on with the wiring. And, um, the rest will be that screen and that cage and then the top. This is the top right here. This is the screen. And then this is the protective cage. Look. Oh my vacuum.